Have you ever wondered how a turbofan engine works? Well, let's dive right in. Turbofan engines are the heart of most commercial aircraft, providing the thrust necessary for flight. They're a type of jet engine designed to efficiently convert fuel into mechanical energy. This energy is what propels an aircraft through the sky. You've likely encountered the roar of these engines at airports or seen them hanging beneath the wings of a plane. Stay tuned as we unravel the magic behind these mechanical marvels. The turbofan engine, despite its complex appearance, is made up of a few key components. Let's start with the fan. This is the large spinning component at the front of the engine. Its job is to pull in a massive amount of air. Next, we have the compressor. It's like a series of miniature fans, each one smaller than the last, squeezing the incoming air into a tighter and tighter space. This compressed air is then funneled into the combustion chamber. The combustion chamber is where the magic happens. Fuel is injected into this compressed air and ignited. This creates a high pressure gas that needs somewhere to go. And that's where the turbine comes in. The turbine is like a windmill inside the engine. It's spun by the high pressure gas rushing past it, which in turn spins the fan and compressor. Finally, the remaining gas exits through the exhaust, pushing the aircraft forward. Now that we know the parts, let's delve into how they work together to power an aircraft. Assembling a turbofan engine is like solving an intricate puzzle. It's a process of piecing together a beautiful symphony of power and precision. Let's dive right in. We begin with the fan, the wide-mouthed beast at the front. This is the first stop for incoming air and a critical component for the engine's thrust. It's carefully mounted onto the engine's shaft, ready to gulp down as much air as it can. Next comes the compressor, the heart of the engine. It takes in the air from the fan, pressurizes it, and passes it onto the combustion chamber. The compressor is a series of rotating blades, each meticulously fastened onto the shaft. The assembly of the compressor requires absolute precision, as any imbalance can cause catastrophic effects. Now we move on to the combustion chamber, the fiery furnace where magic happens. Here, fuel is mixed with the high-pressure air from the compressor and ignited. This assembly is a delicate balance of safety and efficiency, ensuring the fuel burns steadily and completely. Then, we have the turbine. It's like the engine's personal windmill, harnessing the energy from the hot, fast-moving gases from the combustion chamber to spin the fan and compressor. It's a marvel of engineering, designed to withstand extreme temperatures while spinning at high speeds. Finally, the exhaust. This is where the gases, having served their purpose, are expelled, adding to the engine's thrust. With the assembly complete, we have a fully functional turbofan engine. But how does it work? The turbofan engine operates on a simple yet brilliant principle. Let's dive straight into it. Imagine a massive amount of air rushing into the engine drawn in by the fan at the front. This is the first step, and it's all about air intake. Now, not all of this air goes into the engine's core. A sizable portion is directed around the core, providing what we call bypass thrust, which helps to make the engine quieter and more fuel efficient. Next, we have the compression stage. The air that does enter the core is squeezed or compressed by several stages of compressor blades. This compression increases the pressure and temperature of the air. It's like squeezing a balloon. The air inside gets hotter, right? Now we reach the heart of the engine, the combustion chamber. Here, fuel is sprayed into the compressed air and ignited. This combustion process releases a great deal of energy, causing the gases to expand rapidly. This is where the magic happens. These high-energy gases blast out of the back of the engine, and in doing so, they push the engine and therefore the airplane forward. This is what we call thrust. At the same time, these gases also spin a turbine, which in turn powers the compressor at the front of the engine, keeping the whole process going. And that, in essence, is how a turbofan engine powers an aircraft. Uh, we've covered a lot about turbofan engines in a short time. We dove into the components that make up this mechanical marvel from the fan and compressor to the combustion chamber and turbine. We took a journey through the assembly process, each piece playing a vital role in the engine's function. And we've seen how through a series of complex processes, these engines breathe life into our aircraft, generating the thrust needed for flight. Next time you board a plane, remember the intricate and fascinating workings of the turbofan engine that will take you to the skies?